Welcome back, everyone, to some more Final Fantasy 16, Episode 6. Uh, hey, Torgal, you're not going to chase those moths? Have you grown out of that? Have you grown out of that? Or are you just more of a butterfly kind of wolf? I don't know. This intro's weird. Anyway, we're in Lost Wing. We came here last time with Sid, who um, kind of leads a band of, of, of outcasts in the Deadlands. We, we explored his hideout last time, and then we went on a mission with him to find this second icon of fire. We've got a lead on it, or a person who may have a connection to Ifrit at the beginning of the game. We don't know yet. There's still many, many questions. However, what we do know is the Walud in, uh, Intelligences? Is that what they called them? They are also sniffing around the place, and uh, obviously they're led by the lovely and terrifying Benedicta, who um, I'm actually really excited to see if we encounter her, uh, like, as Clive. That would be pretty cool. But yeah, we're uh, we're kind of searching the village right now. We did hear a, a noise from someone, but... Oh, in fact, we're right close to where this mark is telling me to go. I kind of just want to make sure I'm not missing anything, though. Oh. Did I just... I just stumbled into a cutscene. I was going to explore the village more, but oh well. This man's gonna die if we don't get into a healer. Enough oh my god, it's a Geordie! <laughs> time! Stand back. And, yeah, Sid is the dominant of Thunder, which is incredible. Mm. Who the hell are you? Clive! <laughs> I love Sid. Thought you weren't coming. You still alive, Gav? Gav? Barely. Been doing what I can for the villagers, but... I thought you were joking. <laughs> it's alright, he's with me. Is this everyone? No, there were others. A pair of royalists came for the bearers just before you arrived. Was a dominant among them? Maybe. It's not like he was holding a sign. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> yeah. You won't guess where he's going. Yeah. Clive, after him. Oh! Kill the messenger! Kill the messenger! I know they tell you not to do that, but we gotta do it this time, I'm sorry. Pursue the fleeing soldier. Now, are we gonna automatically sprint again? Or is Clive just like, nah, now's not the time for sprinting. I don't- I don't need to catch him that badly. Uh, but yeah, I wanted to explore the village a bit more. I might have missed items. Oh well. Oh, we're out in the- in the woods again. Uh -oh. Word from the scouts. Not yet, my lady, but we are the dominant's companion. It's only a matter of time before we seize our quarry. Very good. And what of the others? The bearers have been taken to Kaer Norvent. Some may still be worth keeping should the dominant elude us. All is in hand, my lady. They will not be spoiled. I give you my word. No spoilers. <laughs> Gentlemen, a toast! Will you join me? <laughs> My sex. To our lady of the wind. And the king! <laughs> uh, the Imperials drink this piss? <laughs> well, it would go some way to explain their breath. Wow. <laughs> Lady Benedicta, Imperials! Frick. Uh, 
And instead of killing them, you lead the rats straight to us. Oh, you're in Mercy. trouble, dude. <laughs> oh! Look what we have here, boys. An Imperial Bearer. But I was getting bored. She's incredible. Step on me, please. Blow me? Boo. Oh, did she just say boo? Wait, you can summon them? Dance, Chirada. Chirada? Is that is that one of the ads from 14? What is that thing? If this means what I think it does, then Sid has some explains. Oh crap. Okay, hang on a second. Hang on. Whoa, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm pretty sure this is one of the ads that you fight in the Garuda fight in 14. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Also, I have the biggest crush on Benedict. It's actually unhealthy. Her and Sid are both vying for, like, the top spot right now. Um, yeah, and, and sorry, I, I'm gushing all the time about Sid, especially. He's just so great. Um, but I could probably use his help right now. Oh! Now, what I feel like I should be doing more is is the magic burst in between strikes. It's kind of hard to get the timing right, but oh, we parried! We parried! I did not mean to do that. Whoa, crap. Oh, okay, okay. Toggle, you want to get... Oh, I used a potion back. <laughs> Toggle. Not this time. Oh. Ooh, get fucked. It's so satisfying when you dodge him. Now, I'm going to guess here that there will be another one we fight. Because in 14, there are two ads. I can't remember what the other one's called. I think it begins with an S. But, um, yeah. That's so cool, though. You better be on your way, Sid. <laughs> Look at that damage. We're doing all right here. We're doing okay. Yeah, because like you can do a pretty good combo if you get magic burst a few times in a row. I'm pretty bad at it though. Oh, like I'm pretty bad at dodging a lot of the time. Oh. I just can't explain to you how satisfying this combat system is. Oh, that precision counter. Charada slain. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's... I mean, maybe they're not going to make you fight another one, but, like, in 14, you do have two, two like, Garuda clones to fight. Cleric's Medallion. Ooh. Increase healing potency of potions by 20%. I definitely want to equip that. And that will be all of our accessory slots filled. Err. Uh, we're right, Sharp Fang, Magic Dash, we've got those before. Okay. You've got some fight in you, even for a branded. <laughs> Clive! About time, Sid. <laughs> Look us here to save the day. Is this how you recruit all of your charges? Don't recall you complaining, Benedicta. So, Sidolphus, remind me, why was it that you betrayed your kingdom? 
I asked you a question. Lord Commander. Why? Because I'd had enough of you and your king's antics. Oh. And yet here you are, stealing my branded. What are you plotting? As if I'd tell you. Lady Benedicta, we have secured the dominant. Oh, shit. Holy oh, something, isn't there? She ninjaed us. She Batmaned. And she's gone. See you, Gav. Did she say where she was going? No. I know. Head back to Lost Wing. One of the villagers may have heard something. But we can't just. Which is why I sent Gav. Since got it coming. Man has a nose for these things. Trust me. <sighs> yeah, she said. Um, they, they said care care something. Was it? I I don't remember. I'd be a terrible, terrible spy. <laughs> Time for booze. So, it wasn't about bears at all. They were looking for a dominant. Yeah, that's right. I thought we were hiding the bastard. Like any of us would keep a monster like that under our roof. Oh, no offense. Uh. When no one talked, they started rounding up everyone with a brain. And then everyone without one and all. And locked you in the cellar, hoping sooner or later someone would break. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, things might have been different if you'd accepted my invitation. Oh, don't remind us. We were all saying the same thing. <laughs> this is our home, innit? Yeah. In it. Don't mean we won't out when we can, though. In and it. That, I'll drink to. In it. <sighs> oh, come hear the tale of Lord D on the boat, whose tamed worms a thousand and slain the tenfold. One hundred full legions the young dragoon led. And watched as a million foes turned tail and fled. His lance levels mountains, it spanders the deep. The skies over storm breaks for Listen, Clive. And should the Revenge won't bring him back. It won't. Thirteen years ago, I watched a dominant kill my brother right in front of me. And I did nothing. But now I can. I can kill the son of a bitch. And bring peace to my brother's soul. After that, whatever happens, happens. Fate. You're content to be a slave then. Damn, he, he chugging that down. Meanwhile, at the Legion of Doom... Ken Norvin! This radiance would have us believe the Imperial host invincible. Yet here we find the Empire's cornerstone teetering on the backs of a handful of cowards and cutthroats. <laughs> While Bahamut may lead a hundred full legions, could it be that the young prince defends a house of cards ready to topple at the slightest breeze? Tell me something. Why do you not resist? Within you lies the power to slay gods. The phoenix perished in your flames. Yet you do not fight. You do not flee. 
You refuse your gift. Perhaps you are distracted. My offer still stands. Join us and you will be treated with the respect one of our kind deserves. Oh, twisting it. Lord Margrace, don't! I'll give you a moment to consider your options. Lord Margrace. Do be gentle with them. Oh god, Benedicta, I have such conflicting feelings about you. That did look like the person we saw in our vision. Clive. Mm. Wake up. Gav's back. Way, hey, Gav's back. I love Gav. He's got a Geordie accent. It's brilliant. Ken Ovent. One of the Empire's outlying strongholds. Though apparently not strong enough to keep out the Royalists. The captured bearers are inside. I'm sure of it. If Benedicta's orders are to stay in the shadows, she won't be travelling with many men. Meaning, she'll be keeping her prisoners together and close by. Including the Dominant. So, we find a way into the fortress, and conjure a bit of chaos. Uh, what about me? Excellent question, Gav. You will wait outside the care, and guide those I free to safety. And miss all the fun? Why can't he do that? <laughs> Clive doesn't have your nose. He'd stumble off a cliff before he even found the men. Come on, Gav. You're the best man for the job. Well, when you put it that way. <laughs> this is great. I better scout ahead for any surprises. Don't you let him down. Yeah, I think I'd better do the fighting, Gav. Can you? I won't. Can you shoot Phoenix Feathers right. out your ass? Shall we? Not so fast. We wait until tomorrow. But he's right there. And if we leave now... We'll arrive just as the sun comes up. Maybe join the guards in breaking their fast. Come on, Clive. They only just took the place. They'll be there a while yet. We've got one chance at this. You don't want to waste it. Do you? No. He speaks sense. Listen to Sid. If in doubt, listen to Sid. I bloody love that man. He's fast becoming my favorite Sid, and this is insane because we've we've barely we've barely got to know him yet. Apparently, he was, I'm guessing, Lord Commander of of the I don't know whatever military of of Benedictus Kingdom, the Walud. I'm guessing, which is kind of crazy. Uh, the story progresses. New weapons and items will become available at the Hideaways trading posts. Oh. Not that subtle. There's someone I want you to meet. At this hour. He's the owner of the talent, and our best hope of getting a decent night's nice kip. Decent night's nice kip. I love this. This dialogue. Torgal, I'm gonna pet you, because you did a great job in that fight, even though I, I used you like I once. Good boy. Oh, actually, I did check the trophy list. I checked the trophy list, so we're gonna pet him maybe two more times? <laughs> For reasons? I mean, it's also just adorable, but, um... <laughs> you can pet the dog. There we go, Togo. Here's your go boy. Here's your go boy. Right. Yeah, now maybe I can actually explore the village, because that's kind of what I wanted to do before I got sucked into story stuff. Uh, oh my god, we got a menu! Gotland 870. Oh, that's a good year. That's a good year. Uh, Bra Brandon Wine, Imperial Gold. Oh, I love me a, a pint of Imperial Gold. Pandemane, Stone Blue, Black Pudding. Uh, no thanks. Smoked Kippers, no thanks. Salt Loach, no thanks. Roast Hare, I'd probably eat that. Chocobo Stew, 
Oh, they eat chocobos. Oh, they eat chocobos. Carrot broth. Ugh, that sounds... I think I'd rather lick the inside of... Anyway, um... I'm getting, you know what, also, I know I've mentioned, like, Game of Thrones, but I'm getting, like, uh, like, Witcher vibes as well. In just the, the tone of the, of the place, of the game. It's lovely music, though. Right, uh, yeah, we'll chat to the bar. Can I actually, wait a sec. Right, first of all, uh, Ken Norvin, let's have a read about that. An imperial stronghold located along the southern uh, fringes of Sambraqua territory, far from its capital of uh, Or of Fleme. It occupies a, a key strategic position adjacent to the Crystal Belt and is suitably formidably uh, fortified as a result. Within its walls, there are living quarters, a church, a jail, and sufficient storehouses to see the occupants through a lengthy siege. It looks, yeah, looks pretty uh, imposing. Okay. Also, I like that it kind of shows you the the region that it belongs to with the 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 flag or the the banner okay right doesn't say too much nuance Sid that's fine yeah so can I uh can I fast travel at this point could I quickly go back to and go back to Orbel Downs we can go back to the hideaway we can't go to the Great Wood so I'm guessing, like, certain areas are more like mini dungeons in a way. I'm sure there are going to be other big areas full of monsters that you can kind of explore and, like, grind if you wanted to. We just haven't found them yet. But, um... Ah, it will. It will let me... Okay. Right, new items now available. I wonder if there's any new quests as well. New crafting recipe is available. It's so, it's so nice returning here. It feels so welcoming. Right, let's have a look at what you've got. Look what the curl dragged in. The curl! Uh, ask about Karen. Taking an interest, are you? Wonder why such a comely cultured lady would cast a lot with, uh, with this rabble. Because she's got a special arrangement with the rabble rouser, that's why. I scratch Sid's back and he scratches mine. Use me old trading connections to bring in whatever him and his little band need, and they pay what I ask. And to sweeten the deal. He's given me an army, eh? far from the prying eyes of those who'd wish me ill, and there's no shortage of them, believe you me. What is it? What is? What is your past, Karen? You seem like a bit of a badass. Anyway, let's see what you've got. Coin purse weighing you down. Oh, we could get a long sword, which actually isn't as good as what we've got, but we could upgrade it, obviously. And I bet we could make one as well now. Uh, Wolfskin Sash. That'd be like two more defense, which isn't, again, that much. Uh, Traveler's Bands. Ooh, that is a lot better. Oft gifted by a knight's paramour on the day of their beloved's first foray into the wild, Traveler's Bands are little more than pretty she uh, shells, broken glass, and shards of depleted crystal affixed to a leather band. But it's the thought that counts. Yeah, I mean, I do have a lot of money now. I've got over 5,000 gil. So I could, I could buy that. I'm gonna buy it, yeah. You'll not find a better price than that. I'm sure I can't, because I as far as I'm aware, there's no other shops in the game. Uh right. Now again, I've probably got some things I could sell. Oh, we need to equip the cleric's medallion. Yep, nearly forgot about that. Dragon talons are worth 1,200. Bloody hell. Yeah, I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna be selling any of this stuff. Is that no, all? no, no. Right, let's equip this accessory before I forget, and, uh... Yeah, actually, that's a good point. I think it was, uh, Dustbin in the comments mentioned. This was, um... This was Castle Rosaria, right? I'm pretty sure. This is this was our home, and now I guess it's... Yeah, the Iron Kingdom owns it. And yeah, this crystal wasn't here last time. So if they just... I don't know. I don't know how this works, because... I'm pretty sure that wasn't there. I don't know. Anyway. Let's equip the... Accessory. So potions are more potent now. I actually don't have any potions left. I've got one high potion. Maybe I should buy some... Maybe I should buy some potions. 
And what do you want? Uh, I'd like a potion, please, or two. If you're three. gonna buy some, it'd be quick about it. If you're gonna buy some, I love that it's so northern. Uh, right, potion, please. Yeah, two hundred. Uh, I will buy. I'll buy three. I'll buy three. It'd better all be here. <laughs> I'm not gonna shortchange you, Karen. I wouldn't Come bloody again. dare. Oh, wouldn't don't. bloody dare. I'm not much bothered either way. Right, let's see. Can I make a longsword? Make it quick. What do you want? <laughs> what do you want? We can make a longsword. Well, we can make a longsword plus one. Uh, we can make a better wolfskin. S oh, yeah. Okay. Oh. Would that increase our health? Oh, yeah. We could get three HP if we made the Traveler's Band plus one. All right. Uh, but no, I think we'll make the longsword. No scratches, right? Let's equip that. Can't wait to see what it looks like. So it's slightly better than what we have. Uh, and we could we could upgrade it. We could upgrade it to plus two. Hmm. Hmm. We've got the meteorites. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. You can thank me later. Dress to the fives. I guess that's for like upgrading things five times or something, maybe. Alrighty, we got a longsword plus two. Oh yeah, it's a bit more of a, I, I guess, a slender-looking blade. Oh, I can't wait to see what kind of weapons we're gonna get in the late game. And apparently, the like the ultimate weapons you can get for Clive can only be unlocked in New Game Plus, uh, which. I will probably be streaming. I don't know if I'm going to do like a full playthrough on YouTube like this, but uh, yeah, I'll definitely be doing that because it adds a bunch of stuff to the game. You can change enemy placements with Final Fantasy mode. Ah, oh, it's gonna. I'm going to be playing this game for a very long time. Right. So a new sword. Uh, looks like we've got new stuff at the Aretta Stone. Arcade mode. Hall of Virtue. Yeah, I'm not gonna. Not gonna bother with this, but stage replay. So we could actually just replay the Great Wood. Yeah. This mode can be used to revisit cutscenes, collect forgotten items, earn XP and AP, or retry missed achievements. Oh, that's good then. That's good. So nothing is gonna be missable then. That's that's a relief. Okay. Where to next? Yeah, I don't uh Oh, let's have a chat with Goots. You're leaving? Already? Well then, stay safe. I will do. Yeah, are there no, uh, I guess there's no side quests here right now. I'm pretty sure they would appear on the map. But um, yeah, let's go back to Lost Wing and have a chat with whoever. Oh, look. Hey, Sid. The villagers of Lost Wing are sympathetic to our cause. They'll help us, don't worry. But they do seem like a, a nice bunch. Right. Let's go back to Lost Wing. I haven't actually been paying attention to how good the loading times are. Very good. Very bloody quick. Right. Uh, what a mess. Oi, how about some light over here? It's black as Odin's bum hole. It's black as Odin's bum hole! Oh my god. Oh, Odin. Oh my lord, I can't wait. Quest destination nearby. Right. That's... Oh, I'm supposed to talk to you. Oh, I could have... Oh. Where's the, uh, the bar then? Where's the bar? Because I didn't actually chat to... Oh, we do have shops elsewhere then. Okay. Yeah, in here. Let's see what you sell. What can I interest you in today? Oh, I could have bought a... Uh, a long sword from you for, yeah, the same price. Okay. Same stuff then. Ooh, Valley Madder? What the heck is that? An inconspicuous shrub commonly found growing near Mother Crystals. Its roots are harvested to create a deep red dye. But unlike most pigments, Madder Root Extract does more than merely stain cloth. It imbues it with a faint elemental charge that can aesthetically or aether really enhance both bearer and crystal-based magics. Ooh. 
That's only 20. You know what? I'll buy I'll buy a few of those. I've no idea if I'm going to use them, but I'll buy them. I trust it's all here. Oh. We can buy an orchestrion roll for 40,000 gil. Are you That's daylight robbery. I know it's nighttime right now, but that's a tad expense. You're selling this stuff for 20 gil, right? Meteorite for a thousand. Fair enough. 40,000 for a, for basically a CD. Like a single CD, not not like an album. Oh, I'm going to I want to get all those though. All right, so we are going to need money. We are going to need money. Good to know. Right. Uh sell anything else? Just potions, right? Okay. Always welcome here in Lostwing. All right, thanks mate. Right, yeah. I'm there's got to be items around here. There's got to be. There's gotta be. Yeah, wow. So, yeah, more fallen ruins. These things are massive. That bridge does not look safe. That does not... That does not meet the, the safety code of Valisthea. Whoa! Right. There's gotta be some cool shit. What's through here? I feel like I might be leaving the village now. Oh! A chest! A chest! Bloody hides, yes! I knew I would have missed stuff. Oh, little doggo. Is that a dog or a cat? That's a dog. <laughs> the, <laughs> you, the guy she tells you not to worry about. <laughs> That's what that is. Holy shit, Toggle. I mean, Toggle's definitely a wolf. <laughs> Toggle is definitely not a, a dog. Um, yeah, this place is so calm. Oh, hi, Sid. I didn't know you were following me. Oh, I'm so excited for this next mission, though. If we're going to infiltrate that place, we're totally going to fight Benedicta. It's going to be great. But yeah, I just want to make sure I'm not missing any other items here. Any more chests around? Ah. I think this might be one. Nope, that is a bench. That is a bench. What would the King Wulud want with our tiny village anyway? Yeah, I don't know. Surely they have bearers enough of their own back in Ash. Ash. Oh wait, of course I know what they were. They were after the dominant. <laughs> they weren't after the bearers. Look at oh my gosh, the moon! Look at that. Also, can I see something up there? Is that just a trick of light? Like, can I go up there at some point? I have no idea. This this is what. I will say, this is what Final Fantasy XIII was lacking. Yes, it was linear, like this game has been so far, but the difference is, you have little quiet areas like this where you can talk to people. You know, it feels less linear because of that. Oi, how about some light over here? It's black as Odin's bam hole. <laughs> I love that so much. I'm going to use that from now on. No one in real life is going to know what the fuck I'm talking about, though. But, hey. Anyway, right, let's just chat to this guy. Quentin, my good man. It seems we'll be spending the night. I thought as much. Oh, he's very posh. Where do you find that one? What, well, him? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Quentin here is an old friend. One who is sympathetic to our cause. Sympathetic? And he knows about your little sanctuary. I would never have guessed so many people were bent on setting us free. When last I checked, the mere thought would only a trip to the gallows. I am well aware of the risks, as I am of the rewards. And what could be more rewarding than your very own dominant of fire? A dominant? Here? Now that I would like to see. Meaning you haven't. No, but nothing passes unnoticed in Lost Wing. Take your brand, for example. People will see that at once. Well, yes, yeah, and face. I need hardly tell you how they will greet the inquiries of a bearer. 
You are afraid your words will fall on deaf ears, as they have ever since the moment you were marked. Happily, I can provide a solution to your dilemma. As a favor to Sid, that is. Take this. You will find it has the uncanny power to loosen tongues. Truth serum? Seal obtained? You accept the hanged man from- May the mothers guide you. What did we just get? This might be Imperial land, but here in Lost Wing, it's his word that's law. But how? You don't need to worry about that just yet. Trust me. Everyone in Lost Wing knows what that seal means, and what it means if they don't take note. Now we can sit here counting our blessings, or put them to good use and find that dominance. Your choice. I want to find a dominant. I need answers, goddammit. Let's see if this thing really works. Party makeup has changed. Gather information from the villagers. Alright, so now they're going to talk to me, are they? If I show them this seal. So, yeah, one thing that I, I haven't really mentioned. The whole branding thing, right? It's messed up, because... I mean, branding anywhere on a body, that's, like, horrific, right? But the fact that they do it on your face... The one place that you can't really ever hide properly. You know what I mean? Like, it's not like it's on your left ass cheek, is it? Right? Where no one's gonna see it unless, you know, unless you like showing that off. But it's it's fucked up. It's so fucked up. And especially if, you know, bearers are looked down upon in such a way, which seems to be the case. It's uh it's horrific. But um And and the and the thing is, yeah, like our our dad. You know, Rosaria was using bearers. It was a thing. Like, ugh. there's shades of grey going on here. There's good and bad. Right. Let's go gather some info. Let's do our best Benedictor impression and do some interrogating with hopefully less, like, stabbing involved. Ah, yes, we have some stairs. Yeah. I, uh, I'm sure there's other items I've missed. Just a little bit of downtime is nice, isn't it? And that's the thing, Final Fantasy XIII, the story really didn't let there be much downtime. And again, I, I need to replay XIII because I really did enjoy it. It's a very special game to me, but I can definitely see why others weren't so keen on it. With its uh, approach and kind of structure. Just checking out some of these balconies. Oh, this is a nice... Oh! I would totally hang out here with a bevy. Yeah. It's just gorgeous, isn't it? It's just unbelievably pretty. Oh, another dead end. Alright. That is the most pathetic jump I've ever seen, Clive. Look at that. I could jump higher than that. I mean, you are wearing probably like 100 pounds of equipment. But, you know, still. Bloody cowards! Setting upon us after dark! I'd like to see them try again when the sun's high! You tell them, old lady! You tell them, I'm gonna call you Agatha. Right, hello, freed villager. That a hanged man, I see. Master Quentin must think you're important. It was a good thing you done today getting rid of those bastards. If you hadn't come when you did, I'd be on my way to Ash by now. Along with the others. Poor buggers. These others, was there a dominant among them? A dominant of fire? Might have been, yeah. Royalists seem to think there was, anyhow. A thin bloke all swallowed up in his robes like one of great Grieger's churchmen. Do you recall anything else about him? Only that he weren't alone. Was a young maid who went wherever he did. Including the church. And wherever the royalists dragged them both off to before you got here. I see. Thank you. Hmm. Yep. 
Right. Um, they keep mentioning this ash place. Where is that? Is that the holy capital of the... Is that the capital of the Holy Empire? I'm not actually sure. Alliance marks. We got so I'm guessing. Yeah, when there's a blue dot, I'm guessing that means there's new information. Those who do not call the hideaway their home, but nevertheless lend their strength to Sid's cause, there are many in the twins who balk at the persecution of bearers, but cannot find within them the courage to oppose it, knowing what fate awaits them should their sympathies be exposed. Others take that risk, aiding Sid's bearer liberation efforts with information sent by Stolas, monetary assistance, or direct action. Marks. Emblems that Sid's allies distribute to those in their circle of trust. It is a common uh, for the rich and powerful of Valisthea to pin such marks to the bearers in their possession uh, that the slaves might go about their master's business unmolested. That's a way of putting it. Lost Wing. Yeah. Uh... Okay. Presently, uh, obscurity serves as cover to mark its uh, burgeoning status as a safe haven for bearers who work the nearby vineyards for Quentin, uh, Eelderman, and co-conspirator co uh, of Sid's, while uh, casks of Gortland Rouge, aged in Lost Wings cellars, provide the village with much-needed income. Okay. So basically, just pl this place just makes a lot of booze. Quentin. The, oh, that's a very short entry. The in inscrutable landlord of Lost Wings Tavern and the leader of the village. And yes, he's very well spoken. All right. Let's go gather the last bit of info. Yeah, I've definitely, I'm definitely noticing a little bit of slowdown in this particular area for some reason. Oh, is it, there's a priest. Honored visitor. Might I ask that you pray with us for the deliverance of our brothers and sisters from evil? I don't know if Clive is a religious man. I really don't. Is there anything in the chapel? Oh, there is. The hymns of Grigor. And thus did Grigor summon together her two and seventy spirits of light. And tell them of the holy heralds. She would send to the world below, where there was much strife, cloud strife, and suffering, for which she wept. Rejoice, she said, for my heralds, who are part of me, and who are me, shall be as bread uh, unto the starving, and as water unto the thirsty, and shall bring light where there is only darkness. That is a very, that does feel like a very religious thing. Like, I went to a Catholic school. We read a lot of shit like that. Interesting. Oh look, there's a dragon. Oh my god, that kind of looks like the uh, the the one from Final Fantasy V a little bit. It totally does. I believe Final Fantasy V. Not only was it worked on by a lot of the people that made this game, but it's like it's one of their favorites as well. And I recently just played and beat Final Fantasy V for the first time. Check out my playthrough. But um, yeah, Final Fantasy V is fantastic. Right. And that's another thing. I would like to see, in a mainline Final Fantasy, a return to the job system again. I really would. And so far... I remember. Think hard. I already told you. He was gone before any of us could get a good look under that hood of his. Sid's, Sid's doing his best. Yeah, so, so far, I think what I've noticed is... I, I don't believe, like, the RPG elements of this game are going to be quite as in-depth as we are maybe used to. Uh, for example, you know, we've got three accessory slots, equipment, but and, and a skill tree, and that's about it. That's about it. Uh, you know, it's definitely enough for me, but I, I can see some people, like I said, I you know, who, who are big fans of, like, the Materia system from Seven, or the, the, the Gambit system and, and License Board from Twelve, or, you know... The, there's definitely been more in-depth RPG systems in previous games. We'll see how things progress, of course. We are still very early in the game, and I'm looking forward to unlocking a bunch of new abilities, because they are just so fun. Ah, oh, Woodcutter. Ah, Master Quinton took a lark into you, I see. And there I was, thinking you were in bed with Sid. Wonder Not yet. Wonder what Gavel have to say about this. Speaking of whom... If you see him, tell him thanks for looking after us. Now, 
What can I help you with? I'm searching for a dominant of fire. Gav seems to think he might have taken refuge here. We see a lot of bearers around these parts. But I do seem to recall one who commanded the flame. Now, whether or not that makes him a dominant, I can't say. But the Waludas certainly took a keen interest in the poor sod. Did you get a look at him? Didn't have a chance. One of the other bearers might have done. Thank you. Hmm. Okay, we're not getting much here. It's found anything. I hope so, because I haven't found fuck all. Oh man. I mean, this, 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 you know, did he command fire or did he just like setting things on fire? Was there a serious case of arson? Arson around. It's one of my favourite lines in any movie. Because of the weir rabbit. Bloody brilliant. Sid, you got any intel? Tell me that scowl means you've got good news. Probably not. <laughs> so, a shady lad with a hood and his equally shady lass. Not much to go on, but... But... I've been thinking, if our friend is a dominant, why not just burn the royalist to a crisp? There's a reason he's holding back, and I reckon he has something to do with his partner. What makes you say that? One of the villagers I talked to said the two were separated. If the Waludas have her, our dominants like to think twice before starting any fires. Whoever he is, he's shown himself to have a level head. Mm. He's careful, cunning, and he doesn't want to be found. This could spell trouble. For us and the Royalists both. <sighs> Still, it'll be a whole lot worse if we set off after them with bleary eyes and empty bellies. There should be a pair of pallets waiting for us back at the inn. Shall we? I don't, I don't mind if I do. In the, the dead of night, speak with Quentin. Party makeup has changed. spoke to you child hi child you're the kind man who saved mummy thank you you're welcome i save tons of people i also kill a lot of people but i won't tell you that uh do i have i been up here I, I still feel like i've not really explored this place properly maybe maybe if we can explore this during the daytime it'll be easier that's obviously the exit any chests around good chocobos they actually do blend in very well with the hay, don't they? Damn royalists. We'll need every trocobo in the valley to clear this. Oh, is it blocked? Oh, inaccessible. I wonder if we're going to go out Cutter's Gate eventually. Cellar Passage? Is that... Hang on. I don't think... Have I checked that out? People store stuff in cellars, right? There might be some good shit down there. We'll go to the end. We'll go speak to Quentin in a minute, Sid. I got, I got something to check out. Yeah, this way. Oh, is that where we fought the? Oh, that might be where we fought the. That was the where we fought the boss, wasn't it? I think. This is just gorgeous, though. Oh. Anything going on over here? Oh, they blockaded it. It'll take the better part of a day to move this. The Waludas must have really wanted us to stay put. Ah. Goddamn Waludas. Right. Yeah, let's go to the inn then. Or the tavern, whatever. Yeah, so we definitely can't sprint right now. So maybe it's just in certain areas. I do wish we just had a sprint button, though. So while I'm absolutely enjoying the crap out of this game, I will I will call out little things that, you know, I think should be possibly improved. I'm not just a rabid fanboy. I mean, I am mostly a rabid fanboy, but... Now, about those beds. Beds? 
I seem to recall your request being to spend the night. And for that, the floor will more than suffice. What a dick! Better than a wet rock, I suppose. <sighs> My thanks, Quinton. Next time you're at the hideaway, our floor's all yours. <laughs> no need for thanks, Sid. This isn't an act of charity. You don't say. <laughs> In exchange for my floor, I shall be requiring your services. Wow! The royalists saw fit to erect a barricade across the road south when they occupied the village, and failed to remove it when they left. I expect it to be gone before you leave. As you wish. Okay, Quentin, you're a bit of an ass. The following evening. Well, that took longer than expected. First time dismantling the barricade. It gets easier, don't worry. I won't. Hmm. If we leave now, we'll arrive at the care when the shadows are at their deepest. Well, I should rather wait. No more waiting. Let's freaking go. Let's freaking go. Then. Unless... I know of another shortcut. You should be so lucky. Appreciate your help with the Royalists barricade earlier. No probs. We'll see you the rest. No probs. Right, so was that barricade the one that we just went to? No, it's at Cutter's Gate. Okay. I'm guessing... I'm guessing these places... Oh, yeah, it was there, wasn't it? Yeah, I'm guessing that's probably still blocked off. Right. Let's be off, shall we? That is the wrong way. That is the, that is the church. This way? This way. I kind of wish we could have explored this during the day, I must admit. It would be nice to see what it looked like. Wait, was this? Oh, did I accidentally go to... Hang on a second. That is where I just was, right? Sell a passage. Apparently here. I think it's underneath us. It is, isn't it? I think. Oh, God. Anyway, I'm <laughs> getting all confused. It's because it's so dark. I was getting all hyped for this mission, and now suddenly I'm, I'm all depressed. The road here cuts through Lorbert's Pass to Care Northern. You're not thinking of heading that way, are you? I'm bloody am. I'm bloody am, mate. Just you watch. Northern Valley. Oh, we get this music again. I love it. If the Royalists were looking to take the care, they'd have posted sentries to prevent any unwelcome surprises. At least I would have. Well, you should know. Yeah, you should. Got any new uh, lore? No, don't think so. Oh yeah, I keep on meaning to go back to and checking the hideaway for the lore thing. I'm pretty sure we unlocked that, right? But I don't know where it is. So next time we're there, we'll look for it. We're uh, sneaking through the woods at night. See what the fireflies. Oh, scary noises. I'm just going to take my time. I know we should be on, you know, getting a move on, but... I'm a sucker for a beautiful forest in a game, as we saw in the Great Wood. Oh, it does. It feels like we're on a mission. Oh, Royal Mastiff, we got guard dogs. Wrong way, friend. The <laughs> Stay down. Oh, I hate killing dogs, though. I must admit. There you go. There you go, Toggle. See, like, you can get magic burst, like, up to four times in a row. And it's a really cool combo, but I find it quite difficult to do four times in a row. So you've got to do it just as you hit them. Like, like that, but I always messed it up, like, on the third go. Let's pick 
racking up little bits of two gil. That's not going to get me that orchestra roll, is it? What are the royalists thinking? Why take a stronghold they've no chance of holding? When they've no intention of holding it. Mm. The king is up to something. The king? Well, you don't think they're acting on a whim, do you? This is one of his majesty's cunning stunts. And he sent his best to execute it. <laughs> the cunning stunts, sorry. Uh, <laughs> yeah, like, we've we've briefly seen the king of Walud at the very beginning, haven't we? Really curious to see what his deal is, then. Why does he want this dominant of fire? I mean, I guess more dominance make you more powerful, don't they? But, um... Ooh. This has opened up a little bit. This is just beautiful. Oh, yeah, look. Wow, this is a bit bigger. I mean, I'm probably not going to be able to swim across there, but still. There's a sense of scale. Let's wander over this way. Oh, yeah, we can sprint now. Valley Madder. Let's check the map. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Okay, yeah, right. I mean, again, fairly linear, but looks like there's a couple of things to check out. Yeah, little dead end down here's got to be something. Oh, that river. I love this world. Hmm. Okay, there doesn't actually seem to be anything here. Maybe there'll be something later on. Because I know for a fact there are hunts in this game. And so... We're probably going to be doing a lot of exploring trying to find those. Maybe one will pop up here, I have no idea. Or maybe a side quest or something. Just the, yeah, look at this. Oh, I love it. I love it. Oh, we got royal... Uh, Dudes. Just as our lady said. Oh, I was trying to do the the magic counter thing. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do it. Cast some spells at me, dude. There we go. There we go. Oh my gosh. Stay down. Oh, get wrecked. Come at me, bro. Okay, I dodged too soon. Never mind. I'll tell your lady you tried. <laughs> Sid. Sid. I want to be Sid when I grow up. Oh, hang on. There's something over there. You see that? What's that? What's that glowing? Oh my gosh, is that a chest? <gasps> it's a glowy uh, fallen chest. Meteorite, thank you. More upgrading stuff. I should actually upgrade, like, my armor. How close are we to leveling? Not very close. Again, we do have quite a few ability points, though. Uh, but at the same time, I know that we're going to unlock other sections of this tree eventually. Flames of Rebirth. I didn't even realize we could do that. Summon a massive pillar of fire that burns all enemies caught within the flames while also partially restoring Clive's HP. Damn. That's pretty pricey, though. We're not going to be uh, learning that for a while. But still, that looks really good. That looks really good. Sharp Fang. Okay, Norvins. Hard nut to crack even when it isn't crawling with royalists. I don't care who else is in there. It's massive. It's absolutely massive. Oh, wait, we got- I was gonna say, those are the plant things. One 
it's all go. Completely missed for that, didn't I? Oh, I love these finishes. Stay down. Oh, a few drops. Five pinches of magic ash. There's another one there, isn't it? Is that another one? Oh no, that's a dead one. This is just stunning. Oh, quest destination nearby. Yep, you could say that. Much as I enjoy battering down the front door, I hazard this endeavor will require a bit more tact. There's an old sluice that empties under the bridge. It should see us through to the lower levels of the care. Ugh. Sid. We both know why I'm here. But what is it that you want? Why would you risk your life for a handful of outcasts? If anyone ever learned what you've been doing with their property... They'd have my head in a box. But this isn't just about dominance and bearers, it's about all of us. What I want is to build a place where it doesn't matter what you are, but who you are. Yes. But our world isn't ready for a place like that. So, until it is, I use the power I've been given to show people there is hope. Break for it. Make a break for it. That's a big axe. Oh. They could totally see us. So, tell me about this, Benedicta. Please do. The best and worst decision I ever made. Don't underestimate her, Clive. A fight with her icon is not one you're likely to walk away from. Garuda. Warden of the Wind. Hey. Mm -hmm. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Yeah, sorry if I kind of spoiled that it was Garuda, but... I think, you know, she was using wind powers. It's not really a spoiler, I guess. All right, so we're back on the world map. Enter Care Norvent. Are we ready for this? I really don't know, chaps, but that's going to have to wait till next time. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Final Fantasy 16. Uh, in future, episodes might be shorter, depending. Um, I'll, I'll just try and make sure these videos get out as often as they can. So, uh, yeah, it's getting good. I mean, it's already been good, but, like, we had a really fun little fight today, and uh, we're learning a bit more about Sid and his past, which is great. So, uh, next time, we assault Ker Norvent. Once used as a stronghold, the Oli Empire has since dis uh, disgarrisoned the strategic position along the neutral crystal belt, and now employs it in the training of Imperial Army recruits. So I'm guessing this is actually the belt, right? right it's a giant, giant belt. Yeah, I guess. Okay, next time, I'm going to do that. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye for now. Oh, crap. That's my sword gone. Any help, Sid? Toggle? Anyone? Yeah. That's right, guys. I didn't need help. <laughs>